Hi everybody out there, I thought I would do a video of my gear I'm planning on taking on the John Muir Trail this year. If you're like me, um, I've looked through hundreds of videos out there and I've enjoyed uh, watching what other people have taken on, whether JMT or backpacking or other long distance trails, so I thought I would do a video of my gear for all of you that are out there that are looking at doing your own pack backpacking, whether it's a long trail or just an overnighter, and show you what I'm planning on taking this year. First off, let's start with the big three. Uh, my pack that I just bought for this trip is the ULA Circuit. Um, so far it's been great. I've carried it a few times uh, with weight on training hikes and I really like it. On there I have my buddy Archie. He's kind of my family mascot. We all have him on our pack so he'll be coming along. As far as my pack goes, I have an Imogene 2 by Golight. It's a two-person tent. Tent, really nice, lightweight, pretty sturdy. They say it's a freestanding tent but uh, I'll disagree with that. I think to have it really secure, you definitely need to have it staked out really well. But so far, it's been really good. Held up in a couple big storms. Next to that, which is not part of the big three, I have my uh, sleeping mat, which is a big Agnes. They're air core. It's, I think this are petite. It is um, 66 inches. Um, I fell in love with this last year when I tried it. I'll never go back to the closed cell foam again. It was really good. Um, I am thinking about maybe replacing that with an REI flash. It's a little bit lighter. Um, I'm not sure if the, I think, three or four ounce savings actually are worth the money, so we'll have to see. As far as my sleeping bag goes, I'm going to be taking this. This is an EMS Mountain Light 20. I've had this for a few years. I think it's an 850 down. It's great at the 20 degrees. I'll put it in this Sea to Summit, their EVAC dry sack. Um, what I really like about that is after you put your sleeping bag in and roll it up, it actually lets air come out. So it compresses really good but doesn't let anything in, so waterproof on it. I'm um, debating if I may have a Marmot Sawtooth, which is 650 down, which I actually bought to replace this because I spent a couple cold nights in this one, but I think it's a little lighter, compacts a little better, so I think I'm going to take this one and just supplement it with some clothing layers at night. I also have a homemade um, pillow stuff, I'll stuff my jacket and stuff in there at night and have a nice little pillow. It doesn't weigh much, you can also use it as a stuff sack. And I have a pair of Black Diamond Trail Poles. I really like these. Um, big thing about these I like is the flick locks on there. I found them to be much more secure than the old twist styles. So I've had these for years. They've been on many trips. Um, I've never had a problem with them. Also, I have some duct tape wrapped around there for blisters and miscellaneous repairs, um, whatever may come up. As far as my cooking goes, of course, I have a bear canister that's the Garcia or Backpackers Cash one. Um, heavy, big, not an option. Have to take it. My only possibility is I may change it up for the BV 450 if I can figure out how to get five or six days of food in the smaller one. We'll have to see. As far as cooking, I'm going to have an MSR pocket rocket stove. I've played with the alcohol stoves a little bit, made a few, actually bought one. Uh, I'm just not really patient enough to wait for them to cook. When I want food, I want it now, so I'm going to go with that. Um, it goes the canister, and then one of my favorite pieces of gear is my Light My Fire Titanium Spork. Um, I like it so much, I actually have one at work that I eat off of every day, so I think it's a great piece of equipment. Um, as far as cook stove, I have a Brunton, it's part of the LB, I think you said it's a little bitty cook set. This is the 800 milliliter pot that I'm going to be taking, and I have a pot cozy for that. And I also have a medium glad screw top Tupperware. I'm not sure if I'm taking this or not. Um, I like the idea of it. keeps my pan dry, but if I end up cooking out of the pan, there's really no need for the uh, pot. So we'll have to see what I end up going with that. Um, I am for water purification. I am taking the Sawyer Mini Waterworks or Mini Filter, whatever they call it. I have, haven't used this one yet. I got it free with my circuit. Um, but I have the bigger version as well, which it works really good. Um, it's quick, easy to use, no complicated. It does a good job. As far as water bottles, of course, the new favorite out there seems to be the Smart Water 
uh, one liter bottles. I'll take two of those. And then I'm also going to take a couple platypuses. Um, a one liter for sure to use with the mini works or the mini filter. And then also probably a two liter. I typically use hydration flasks or hydration tubes when I go. So I'm trying to smart water to see if I can get comfortable using those because they fit really nice inside. If not, I will probably keep one of those and just use the two liter. And then for cleaning up, of course, Dr. Bronner's. I will repackage that and then uh, refill my repackaging when I hit Muir Trail Ranch. As far as restrooms, supplies, uh, steak for uh, digging holes. And I like to go in with the wet wipes. I'll dry those out and dehydrate them. I think they work really good. And some Purell. Other miscellaneous things, some bug juice. I'm using the Bullfrog um, because it has both sunscreen and uh, mosquito repellent in there. So it's kind of a two-for-one deal. Um, I hate mosquitoes, so I will be bringing a head net right now. The sears are dry, even though they just got a big dump on them of snow. But I think uh, I'm going to be prepared better safe than sorry. I hate bugs. Um, whistle, I'll attach that to my pack and a compass just in case. Um, they say it's hard to get lost on the John Muir, but I'm not going to buy that. First aid, I have a homemade one. Uh, put in a look sack bag, uh, some chapstick, of course, a travel toothbrush. Other miscellaneous stuff there, I'll keep in this orange bag, another lighter, uh, probably by light my fire, alternate fire source. And the blue there is tenacious tape. If you haven't used this stuff, it's awesome. It fixes everything. We fix, you know, rips and tents and clothing. We've patched bike tires with it. It is great. Um, I won't be taking that whole tube. I'll cut it up and put it in smaller things. And then I think I'm going to take my Boy Scout version of the Huntsman Swiss Army Knife. Yeah, it's probably overkill. But I've had this forever and I like it. I like to have a decent knife. Um, if I want to save a little weight, I may switch to a Leatherman a CS, which I really like as well. But right now, the Huntsman's winning out there. And, of course, a case for my sunglasses once I buy a pair of them. As far as other stuff, um, keep me occupied on the trail. I'm going to take some of those Sudokus. They're really lightweight. They can rip them off and burn them when I'm done. And then an MP3 player. This is a one that works on AAA batteries. Um, this was really hard to find. I had to go to eBay. They don't really make them. I like it though because you can replace the batteries. As far as for filming my trip, I got a Nikon AW100 there. I've had that for a couple of years. Nice waterproof. I will be bringing probably three batteries total and there is a charger so I can recharge every chance I get. To keep the folks at home informed and keep my wife happy to know where I'm at, I, I got the uh, Spot Gen 3 for Christmas and so I'll have that so I can give my location throughout the day and let them know when I'm camping and just in case I have any emergencies, I'll have that too. Um, I also have a tripod I got years ago from REI. I like this because I can shoot both horizontally and vertically with it, so it makes uh, taking pictures really easy. Um, also for light, the Black Diamond Spot headlamp. I have a couple other ones, but I think I'm going to take a spot. It's something like 100 lumens. Hopefully I won't need it. In July we get long hours, but... Uh, if I get any furry creatures in the middle of the night, I'd like to see who they are. Um, as far as trail guide, I'm going with Eric the Black's John Muir Trail Atlas. It looks really good so far. I like the lightweight of it, the good quality uh, topos that are in there. I may put a couple of either the Post Solar or Tom Harrison maps in there as well for a couple areas I'd like to uh, see more of. A little bit wider view than what Eric the Black gives you. Beneath that, I have a moleskin journal. That's the... Uh, it's a large, it's a plain one. Um, I know it's big, I know it's heavy, but journaling for me is a really important part of the trip and saving the memory. So I will take that along, keep both those in a look sack bag. You guys, the uh, clothes I'm taking on the trip, we kind of start from the outside and working in. As far as some warmth and weather protection, I have a Patagonia Nano Puff. Um, real lightweight. I like this jacket. It's been really warm so far. I've been really happy with it. Also a nice fleece hat and pair of gloves. Just picked up a target. Lightweight. Should be perfect for those chilly nights up high. Uh, nothing, not, nothing too overkill. Uh, for rain gear, I have a Marmot Precip jacket and Marmot Precip pants. Um, I bought the <laughs> pants years ago. I haven't given them much of a workout because um, we don't get a lot of rain here in Colorado in the summer. So... Uh, I've been pretty lucky not to have to use those. I'm still debating if I'm even going to take those or not, but I think uh, they'll also work as a little extra warmth if I get some cool nights. 
For shoes, I have the La Sportiva Rap or Ultra Raptor. Excuse me. Um, I've used the Raptors before and really like those. And I've done some hikes in these Ultra Raptors so far, and they've done great. As far as gaiters, I have the Dirty Girl gaiters. I love those green. They almost glow in the dark. Real lightweight. Um, all I'm worried about is keeping the stuff out of my shoes, gravel and dirt and rocks. My feet feel better at the end of the day if I can do that. A nice uh, big brim floppy hat there. I've had that for years, a great river hat. And then I just picked up a buff. People have talked great about these, so I thought I would give them a try. Um, we'll test that between now and when I leave. If I like it, it'll come with me. If not, uh, we'll get rid of it. As far as clothes I'm wearing every day, start off with a Columbia a long sleeve shirt easily rolls up and secure those. Quick drying uh, has some UP, some sunscreen protection as well. For pants, I have the REI Sahara zip offs, my go to pants for hiking. They're great. Um, I find myself hiking more in pants these days than I do in shorts for some reason, but they do have the option zip off. I have some Adidas compression, compression uh, underwear there, which I seem to like so far. And then my kind of newest discovery was the Darn Tough Stocks. After hearing uh, or reading many trail reports about how much people like them, I thought I'd give them a try, and they are great. These are the ultralight run climb. I think I'm going to take uh, probably two pairs of those and one pair of the uh, hiking ones as well. Additional clothes that I'm going to be carrying, another pair of the Adidas underwear, a pair of Go Light running shorts. I really like these. Um, guys, they have the boxer brief in them rather than just kind of the regular um, lining in them, so friends chafing a little better. An extra t-shirt there. Um, it's a go light quarter zip. It's nice having go light in town. I can just zip down there and get some good deals. And then for a little warmth under layer of an REI Aerolite hoodie. It's a quarter zip. Um, it does have a with the hood on there. I like it. A little warmth for night to go along with my sleeping system. A pair of really cheap, they're called second skin uh, thermal bottoms. I think I picked them up for big lots for 10 bucks. Can't beat that. An REI pack towel um, in case I want to do a little swimming. Also help cushion my pillow and those are the darn tough um, hiking socks that have a little bit of cushioning and then a couple of bandanas so that is all the clothes I'm planning on taking on this trip probably overkill for some of you but uh, I like to be prepared so hopefully those will work I will also do a follow-up video once I get done with the trip and review what I really liked and uh, what I didn't like as well and how everything performed one last piece of gear, kind of gear that is most important is right here. My Yosemite National Park Wilderness Permits Reservation Confirmation. Can't do the trip without that. I'm happy to say I did get my my uh, reservation. Those of you trying to get a reservation know what a pain in the butt that can be. So I am all set to go. Um, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any comments uh, feel free to leave them or drop me an email. You can also check out my website, and I'll post an address to that to follow along my blog. Thanks, guys. Take care.